Hello everybody, welcome to CCL Season 52 first round matchup. We've got Thomas T with his classic Dark Elves and Washburn and his banger ways with his uh, Chaos. An absolutely glorious Chalice matchup. In the booth with me is Squirrel Dude. Hello. Howdy. Boy, howdy. We've got a genuine Texan. <laughs> yep. <laughs> I can even sound like it sometimes, but I, I don't. I really don't. I can. <laughs> I can. I mean, let me never say that. I might could sound like it if you wanted me to, but I ain't fixing to do that because I don't really talk like that naturally. So, some of my folk from the country, I always do. Glorious. Um, so, yeah, so here we go. <laughs> uh, Washburn has got a bit. So, pretty, pretty even TV teams here. Which is kind of surprising because the Dark Elves look a lot better than the Chaos. And I guess it's because of this stat. This stat monster here right, is so much TV to just be like an above yeah. average elf. <laughs> he's almost a war answer. Yeah, he's like. For he's, like 200 team value and not 120. Yeah, he's a, he's a Dark Elf Blitzer with a move up and dodge. <laughs> So much TV, but to be fair, he's got the uh, the strength four on a blitz is pretty cool, right? Um, Can you imagine the chance of that player being level thirty two or level twenty twenty? Mm. Yeah. Be thirty thirty forty for the dodge. Another being more expensive. Uh, twenty? No, no, he's, he's twenty twenty for the uh, twenty for the oh, moves. Movement, movement twenty now? Mm. Oh, movement's twenty and armor is ten. Yeah, but the the, right. the edge is obviously less good. Uh, yeah, which is interesting. Uh, That's so you, right. Well, yeah. Yeah. So we've got a oh, move four warrior, but yeah, you know, he's got two claw mighty tackles, so they can do things. Obviously no piling on sucks. An extra tackle extra tackle there. And uh you know the warriors are decent, aren't they? They've all got guard. Walking guard, so But it's a it's a bit of a low T V chaos team. Chaos really just need the development, don't they, more than more than elves do. Um and elves. Yeah. They haven't got that much sidestep, actually. Funnily enough, seeing a song of side and step, you know, he's mm -hmm. this guy's only got one skill, needs dodge and sidestep. Um, this guy's only got the dodge, no sidestep there. So he hasn't actually, he's hardly got any sidestep, only three sidesteppers. Um, but, you know, a couple few stat ups and guards. So it's, yeah, it's not actually that good a dark LT. Should be interesting. Yes, 20k is the stat that nobody will ever take. And ST will not be rare. Not rare at all. A lot more power than it is now. Yo, you've got pa yeah, passing ability, 20k for something that, yeah, I don't. In a previous game, which results, I won't spoil because I don't remember. <laughs> uh, we were talking about how two heads and extra arms are like half agility, which is actually going to be true in Blood Bowl 3. So you're going to remove the passing ability, so two heads is going to be a better deal yeah. for um, value, even more so than before. You're not going to get that passing extra bit to it. Mm. Quite like that leap to the edge, the edge 5 leap to get the surf. That's pretty cool, isn't mm -hmm. it? And then try to get through there as well. But, uh, I'm not sure if it's a good idea or not, but it looked cool, didn't it? <laughs> yeah. Looked cool. I'm not sure it was worth it. It wasn't that good a player to go for, and it was a bit risky. Um, it is, you know, potentially free removal, basically, and your middle is still pretty secure. So when he gets the witch elf behind the lines and being annoying, so it forces him to get up to the line with the ball. So it probably has enough value, even on a successful is, serve. The problem is that she's exposed to the tackle hit, isn't she? If he wants to go for it, and would... uh, yeah, he has he provides the assist, and then the, the warrior comes in and provides it. Yep, and that looks exactly what he's going for as well. Yep. So, so yep, 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 he's definitely going for this. Cage feels weak, though. Yeah, it is a bit of a weak cage, so, you know, there might be payoff in terms of that. There is the I don't think you need a base alignment with the warrior. I feel like maybe he could have just... I guess he needed the, to negate the assist, but... Mm. Maybe hit out with the beat with a young skilled beastman instead. Yeah, interesting here because now maybe maybe he should have uh, gone hard after the cage here and the witch elf and everything. Man, maybe he should mm. have, maybe he should have gone harder off the ball because 
you know, he's tried to uh, cut off everybody and mm -hmm. swarm it. You know, Thomas T, we said about the Thomas T step of keeping the pressure on. Maybe this was an opportunity for Thomas T to play like Thomas T and really go in hard on the cage here. I'm kind of surprised he didn't. I would have considered it. Um, but obviously he decides against it here. Wow, in Nari, and if you if you take plus passing access, you're an idiot. <laughs> Banter. <laughs> On the early game with 17 E's, as is appropriate. Mm. Yeah, fumble still on one, yeah. It's funny that, isn't it? It's funny how absolutely garbage passing access is. Like, if anyone take, like, only new new players will take that. Like, surely it's, it's so bad. It's literally so bad. Passing ability, oh my god. It would be interesting if they actually had passing break the rule where you always failed on a one. That would be interesting, I guess. But, you know, instead they just added wildly inaccurate, which made passing better somehow. <laughs> you haven't figured it out yet. Yeah. No one who actually plays Blood Bowl works out, can work out how, how it's been allegedly improved, but it, it, that was the purpose to improve passing. <laughs> Not only is it better, Jim, it's simpler than it was before, because now there's this whole, now you have to use the scatter template oh, in places yeah. you didn't have to before, it's, it's even easier. Oh, and they've created an extra stat as well, so yeah, that's totally streamlining, isn't it? Creating extra abilities. <laughs> Jesus Christ. And they've added more skills, so that the ones that you used to have do less, except for Leader, which needed to be better in comparison. Leader, the Undertaken stat. <laughs> <sighs> Yeah, I think that's what it was, lad. L literally, they, someone just saw me having fun dackering, and they were like, we've got to squash that. <laughs> we can't have Jim enjoying himself. <laughs> Let's get rid of passing. No more vanity passes for you, buddy. Well, I think that is a big part of it. I think they didn't want the vanity passing, right? So, But unfortunately, it just totally wrecks passing. Like, it just kills passing just to stop vanity passing, which is pretty stupid. They could have just stopped getting the SPP for doing a pass. This was the more obvious thing to do. Oh, is this some kind of clever chain? No, I'm not, I'm not. Like, oh, I don't yeah. know how to... It's a wandy on the ball. Oh, it's Ooh. an uphill. Into another Push. uphill. Strip ball, it's enough. Oh, strip. But it's not enough, because it's a skull. Yeah. <laughs> And she should get stepped on next turn. Mm, well, the problem is going to be after getting that. forward, isn't it? Because you've got to go back to pick it up, and you've got to mm. get forward as well. So we might not be able to stamp on her, unfortunately. Oh, you don't want to say step on her, Jim. Yep. And I don't know how to make passing better. I don't. Because I don't think the game is fundamentally as constructed in such a way to make passing good. But Yeah, that's the problem. You'd have to do something radical, like allow someone to to move and then throw to them and then have them move again, because like the like it is actually a big problem that it's very easy to stop passing by just going, well, I'll just put players on the guys that want the ball. So anyway, nice passing attempt. See you next turn. <laughs> like we're going to stand on the woodshelf yeah, and move the ball a couple squares forward. Oh, oh. <laughs> nice at 44. Yeah. <laughs> nice be stealth, mate. Where'd you get it? <laughs> imagine if the imagine if the witch wasn't stunned, she could have literally just jumped up and <laughs> off and given it away and scored. Jesus. Yeah, she could have stood up, leaped, left and been over. Yeah, it would have been, it would have literally been GG almost. I mean, as we all know, two going up one zero on the offensive drive is a guaranteed win. So, yeah, never seen it come back. Never seen a chaos or anything come back from two zero. So, never. Yeah. Mm, doesn't use his last three roll. Yeah, obviously people still run any pass, but it's it's a lot worse, isn't it? You know? Like five plus passes for which else is mental, isn't it? And I know they're the, like, the worst example because they made frenzy players worse. And... For some reason, yeah. 
You can't, you can't pacify care, like, foaming at the mouth, right? That's the idea. They're like, wow, crazy, frenzied person, so they can't. They can't do something delicate like passing the ball. It's fucking stupid. But... Well, as we all know, passing definitely is a finesse thing that requires accuracy, and no one values having a big, strong arm just to fucking hurl shit. So. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Indeed, stick indeed. I don't remember what happened two hours ago, Stick, so definitely not in my memory. Yeah. To be fair, I, I don't remember what happens, what's happened like as soon as it's happened, <laughs> to be fair. <laughs> oh, wow, big cars. Apple works. No, no, Apple didn't work, but it was just a badly hurt, so. Auto mm. Apple, good Apple. Keep numbers. Is this, does this need a GFI? One, two, three, four, five. He has to GFI that. Washburn, you have to GFI. Like, you have to GFI there. What the fuck are you doing? <laughs> so I guess it's now on... Yeah, we're gonna GFI with the Beastman instead. Can the Beastman... How many players do you have in a range here? The carrier is in range. It's an elf. Ooh, I wonder if could have uh, could have like blitzed and then chain blocked him out of range. But okay, just gonna just gonna uh, strip him. The witch elf is just gonna strip him. Way. I prefer to strip for you, but hey, stripping you isn't so bad. This is a lot worse usually. <laughs> Not to confuse with stripping. Everyone recognizes as the world's best Blood Bowl coach on Twitch. <laughs> yeah, I remember. You know, when there was no there was no grid on the on the board, I was like, "Oh man, it's so bad not having a grid." And then Strippen's like, "Well, pr like oh, what kind of expert players like me don't need one or something?" And I was like, "Oh, <laughs> oh god." <laughs> He literally said something like that. I'm like, you you need a you need a grid to like read the board properly. And he, he did say something like, you know, us expert players. Uh, some, I, can't, I wish I knew exactly what he said. Well, it was, um, it was it's one of those visual aids, like teams looking different. Expert players don't need his white Dio can look in a mess of circles and be informed. <laughs> I mean, probably everyone's coming back for Blood Bowl three. And Arian Sage is back. Russ is back. Lupak said he'd be back. So yeah, pretty much everyone's back with Blood Bowl 3. Desperately hoping it won't be the worst game ever. But yeah. Probably none of us believing and, it that. <laughs> hey, for almost all of them, the worst comes to worst. There's going to be a bunch of new players, and they'll be able to get a bunch of good records that convince people that they're good. Oh yeah, so, every, every, everyone's going to get subs out of them now, aren't they? So you know, everyone's coming back. Yeah. Everyone's coming back, everyone's going to get viewers, everyone's going to get subs, and then even if it dies in a month, you might as well milk Milk it till it dies. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I am at least curious that they're finally going to try and do crossplay, which is something this game has absolutely needed and was an obvious thing it needed the moment you decided that you wanted to have a niche game on multiple consoles. Yes. Yeah. So. There might be a score here, mine. There? there might be the score. They have a shot. Cows are pretty good. Howdy, howdy. Has the reroll too, which makes this all a lot easier. Mm. No, it's been guaranteed good. It's been guaranteed by uh, Gautier, I think. He's personally guaranteed crossplay is inevitable. Even though it has to be approved, it's inevitable. There we go. Unbelievable. Interactive L strike again. Not only are they going to try, it is guaranteed to happen, Paddy Ryan. Personally guaranteed. It's definitely 100% going to happen. Guaranteed. Crossplay Not... isn't the big deal it was when Blood Bowl 2 came out. It wasn't this revolutionary thing that like two games were trying. It's become a much more standard thing. Particularly among like Xbox and Windows and... PlayStation and Windows, so. There you 
go. It's definitely going to happen. It's guaranteed. I mean, it wouldn't be so bad if we didn't have to deal with PlayStation players. So. <laughs> Fuck PlayStation players. <laughs> Fuck just ones in Spain. Yeah, so. <laughs> It'd be a real shame if we didn't have to deal with Bernie Buffon or um, other Spanish coaches who play on PlayStation. Hello so. there. I just said the Spanish coaches. Yes. <laughs> oh, they're the worst. Yeah. I can only agree. <laughs> They've got their private discords, haven't they? They don't need. They don't need cross. <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh that was fantastic. Is find me a gun? Was it just? Was it just? A, was it just a drive-by? I know you see it. Glorious. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, to be fair, find me a Scottish, that's true, yeah. Yeah, 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 well, I'm many things, I'm many things, <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. Oh, I forgot to do something. Fimer, who's this game dedicated for? Oh, it's very important, yes, yes. <laughs> uh, let me check, because this game is dedicated to the people in Equatorial Guinea. Wait, oh, another, again? Again? That's three times. I don't think this, this thing is very random. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm start, no, I'm starting to think that it's actually random <laughs> because these things happen. <laughs> yeah, so true. yes, yes, yes. I mean, maybe it has something to do because uh, the government of Equatorial Guinea bribed some Spanish officials a few years ago. <laughs> who knows? Who can say who's right or wrong? Equatorial <laughs> no, no. Guinea is actually the place that housed that Discord server. So. <laughs> <laughs> So in a way, what I miss here? Uh, not much. <laughs> um, they're, they're a bit of a toothless chaos team. They, they did a little bit of damage, but not a lot. And then uh, the uh, Dark Elves rolled some dice, got the ball off them. And uh, they paid for it a little bit. Uh, both witches out, but they got the ball, got the counter score um, on turn eight. So it's looking like almost plain sailing for Thomas T. Turned over the ball puts itself against the chaos team today in the past hour. So, I mean, for a chaos team, not killing players is bad, but not killing Thomas T players, <laughs> which has a double stunty at least. <laughs> That's very true. Are these days? I can't wait till we f get the reveal that all Thomas T players are actually just two halflings wearing trench coats. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. Uh, because New Dad, um, he was it. He took Dark Elves in the Blood Bowl Super League, and I forgot. Well, I didn't forget. I just never bothered changing the logos, so it should have been changed on the pitch as well. But it didn't work for some reason. But it does work up there, and I've never bothered uh, you know changing those logos out because you know I might be lazy. And nobody knows. Absolutely love the team name of Thomas T. Yes, glorious. Find me inspired. Yes, exactly, exactly. So he managed to win Charlie's. It will be my third Charlie's. <laughs> <laughs> Glorious. Because I'm part of the team, you know, management, uh, you know, uh, then I won as a player, coach, and manager. <laughs> That'd be amazing, to be fair. Oh, I need to have like I need to have people just say that they learned everything because of me, and then I can claim I can claim all those chalices. That's a good idea, isn't it? I mean, you don't just pay for someone after they win; you just pay them to claim you won the title, right? Oh yeah. Kind of of that. This is this is not the SFL, you know. There is a standards here. <laughs> Give them enough money, though. I suppose England doesn't have that kind of money anymore. But... <laughs> yeah, I'd have to give them the entire GDP. <laughs> <laughs> Ten dollars. <laughs> oh, sorted. Oof. Yeah. Wow, Mordred. Yeah, but to be fair, I want to. I really want to do the art commissions. I like art. I have 194 points. I should. I should request another one. Mmm. <laughs> it will definitely happen, mate. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Like I want it to happen. The funny, the stupid thing is, like I want to do them all because it's like it's all practice, isn't it? You know, so like it's, it's yeah. Like, but it's just it's just doing them is the problem. Yeah, this is entirely too many. Is hard. 
Yeah. Entirely too many players for Thomas T. Like nine players on turn eleven. That's that's insane, isn't it, for Thomas T? Yeah, it's pro probably he doesn't know who, what to do with that many players. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I'm glad we're doing the replay. <laughs> this live must have taken so long as he's just <laughs> sat there for a minute, stunned every turn. Like, <laughs> how do I have all of these players? Pressing, pressing in every player, you know, to count them. One, two, three, four, five, six. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> <laughs> That's actually why he does a bunch of extra dodges, so they like lay down and get stunned, so he doesn't have to think about it. It's a simpler turn. It makes more sense in his brain the next turn. Just leaves that one on the ground for the rest of the game. Yeah, may maybe caution. Yeah, yeah, he's going from he's going from chunter with normal dice to chunter with chunter dice. Yeah, maybe. Banning the player's a mistake. Now he's back to full team. Or. Yeah, the options are going to kill him. Mm-hmm. Oof. Oof, that's rough. The question is, who are going the Chaos to take out the ball from the Elves if they don't kill them? That's the question, isn't it? Yeah. Because they don't have, I don't see, you know, any wrestle or... They've got this player. This player can always dodge it, try and dodge in Carney and like mm -hmm. 1D, but that's about, that's about all they've got for like interesting things. Otherwise, they've just got to bang and bang and hope. Probably needs the all man's up or something. Yeah, he's got to, he's got to, he's got to get it. He probably should have already been up in his face mm -hmm. more. Just the fact, like, any, any, like, well, I mean, he's the perfect safety, right? Because he's so fast. And he's got the jelly. He should yeah. have just been stood here for the whole half, and he should have just been going all in contact wise. Early. He just has to go all in contact as much as possible. I I think. <laughs> Sorry, Kayla. I can't help you. It's not my fault. I can't help you. Not sure about the commitment there. I think just one back is good enough, right? He's still screening there, and then he's screening with him as well. So I think this guy wants fair the back is better. Because you really want to threaten with people, not him. Because he can always he can always punt it, can't he? And if he punts it, then you want somebody who can get it and then mob it back. So this guy's really good to, to like be your last line of defence, and then try to push forward with tacklers to get the uh, to get the ball out. But it's like, really, it's like Washburn did nothing for three turns. And then turn 12 is going to start trying to defend. That's what it looks like to me. Maybe he didn't fully get the situation, but... Yeah, also, doesn't really have the tools to do much. That's the thing, yeah. It's, it's like, it's, I don't mean it as like a, a gross attack on him, because it's just like, you know, his team is just, yeah, as you say, his team is not equipped to, to deal with it. Like, it's, what can you do? Just base, 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 and uh, pray for a uh, one in thirty-six from Thomas T. Yeah, it's really hard. Yeah. It's really hard. It's uh, you know because if your main play, which is blitzing with a uh, claw mighty blow, doesn't work and you don't take off uh, players, it's like okay, that's it. I don't like that push direction. I know why you want to push it to the outside, but I think you needed to push it to the outside and get, do some GFIs to get your players up through the middle, through that gap it would create to base these elves on the back, because Thomas, he's just going to go to the right side now and form a wall over there again. Mm -hmm. And he is now, he has three, he's got three players for you to do it. It's completely safe next turn, no matter what happens now. Correct. And now the edge four. It's committed. You definitely would have rather, I think, yeah. You'd rather no have me commit it up the middle. It. Yeah. That is the problem with like, committing him. Is if you keep him back, he's, you know, if you keep this guy back here, I'd want to keep him on the on the halfway line is where I wanted to keep him. Mm -hmm. It's kind of it's kind of graduated into a DACA this almost, didn't it? This uh, 
slowly but surely he went back and now he has all the space in the wall in front of him but this is could be a good turn for the chaos if they get lucky with some dice yeah yeah at least things are happening to be fair Mm -hmm. I mean, there is a good chance of, uh, you know, at least basing the ball with a uh, tackle and with more than one piece. Oof. Hey, you can rule goals. Thomas T. can lose players. Unbelievable, Jeff. That feels like the first one in ages. Because <laughs> it has been. Yeah. Oof. I do like these rules to try and get some knockdowns to get removals. I think you have to be doing this. Yeah, yeah. Probably should, again, probably should have done it earlier. It felt like the first three turns were really tame, and he had to really go like high octane from the start. I think you know one nil down. I think maybe he's, again. Some, it feels sometimes that people don't realize how bad situations are. Oh, I hate this. Playing oh, a bit like, like it's a draw. That. Yeah. I hate that. Hate that, that guy there. Hate he that. should be basing the ball with more uh, business because it's a strong for peace. I feel like you need it just more out in front, but again, you've got to turn him over, so maybe maybe that's correct. You can't have yeah, you can't have the ult running backwards, I guess. It doesn't feel like it's correct though. Like, but he's but... he's because he's not adding that much. It's better here, right? Yeah. It's better directly behind. That's why I don't oh, like it. It's better yeah. behind. Mm. Like there is is out of the way. If it's if it's directly behind, then you can't hit him and then go through and, and he's screening with that guy. So yeah, directly behind is much better. But yeah, it was good, good, good by Thomas T to get back there. And we're gonna get two D on the ball here, though, aren't we? No, one D on the ball. One D, one D. Very exciting. Mm -hmm. <laughs> one six times he gets a knockdown with no real chance of recovery that I see. I guess the agility or I guess the elf is up there still. He can get there. Yeah. Well, Probably he could come in tricky. for the hit then. So, so mm -hmm. this guy can come for the assist, and then you can oh, go yeah. one, two, three, four, That might be better. Five, six, might seven. be better. Yep. That, that, and you can do it without going through. Oh, it's going to be through tackle or diving tackle, so you have to go through tackle. Yep. And eat the reroll on it. Yeah, yeah, you've got to. Yeah. So at least he's, at least he's, something's happened now. But yeah, imagine if he'd like gone in like this from turn nine, then maybe this is happening. You know, a couple of turns earlier, and then mm -hmm. there's a lot more chances for good things to happen. So yeah, he's gone with the elf. The beast elf. <laughs> there you go. Uh, I, I don't like that the random block. No, I kind of get it. You want you do want to get him down so you don't have a player that can get past. But I don't think a safety is really needed at this point. Also, but gets the dodge in. Gets the pow. Oh my god. Death player. The elf does it's it. The armor break. Not dead. Incredible. Is this a runner as well? No dump off. Oh, diced. Feel the GFI. Oh. Oh man, that was so close to glory. If only it was an actual war dancer that had like sides, you know, all the other skills. <laughs> yes, yeah, all the skills. Sure feet and stuff. Yeah. Yeah, could have had sure feet and sure hands and sidestep. Yeah, so. 95, extreme the five. Movement 10, yeah. You had to do GFI for the first place. Mighty blow, regen. <laughs> <laughs> thick skull. I would like it. I, it would be cool if they could get regen and thick skull award answers. Yeah, pretty nice. Just for free. They need some help now that what else aren't the best team. Armor 9 as well, right? In the new rules. Mm. New rules. Well, armor 10 plus. Yeah, we have to adjust. That's not our agility 4 anymore, it's agility 2 plus. No, just give them exterminator armor. Deny anything with a 2 plus. <laughs> no, he's out of time. But it was a good effort in the end, but yeah, I feel like he didn't. Oh, wow. <laughs> but I mean, this is too hard, isn't it? That's the thing. Even with that power, it's. Oh my god! <laughs> oh my god! Oh, you oh, have no squares left. Oh! Either had one or no squares, also. Oh, but, uh, the dream was alive <laughs> for a few seconds there. Yeah. Oh man, amazing. Well, there you go. Congratulations, Thomas T. Commiserations, Washburn. Thank you very much, Squirrel Dude and Fimey. It's been glorious having you in the booth.
Uh, yep. Always a pleasure to be here, even if I only was here for the second half. Glorious. And thanks for watching, everyone. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and stay fantastic.